against them. Three against my defender, my, my client. Two against the first two, the second two, fourth defenders. And uh, we must also commend the judge industry and also courage for coming out, coming up uh, with such a ruling. We, we are very grateful. So she had joined the 20 and 21st for trial to commence. Very well. So are you saying you're not ready for that? Actually, we intend to file an application almost immediately for the bail. And when that is granted, we're also going to file an application to revisit the other med on protection of witnesses. Uh, so and uh, because the order was made on the strength of the 11 count charge, charge pending before the court, so now six out of it has been removed. So and uh, I don't think that the five remaining five can sustain that application for potential witness, witnesses. So we intend to find a question to review that order. So I I, I I can't say for sure for certainty that the trial will commence on 21st and 22nd, but it has been adjourned. The court is also uh, 20 of the and 22nd. So the court is also fully away that we will file an application for the bail before then. Uh, and uh, it's also, also possible that the court will give us a closer date when we file that application for hearing of that application for bail. Because uh, it's important that application for bail is had and also determined upon before the date of the trial. Thank you very much. Yes, please stand there. No, the fact that we have struck out borders on one, on, uh, on terrorism, on, on major, major on terrorism. Uh, because the court not see any poor evidence attached to that. Uh, so even the one remaining, the court is also not convinced. You will know, hear the court saying that. The only court not convinced that even the full evidence attached to the charge of charge account of serial felony and conspiracy to commit sin can sustain it. But he said it's okay that it's important for prosecution to call their witness. Let him hear them. I hear them. So the, the terrorism has gone. So There's no longer there. You also raise concern with regards to the prosecution. We actually filed an official complaint before the court on 22nd of February 2017. Because that complaint was based on what transpired in court on the 10th of January, wherein we laid a complaint before that complaint before the court on the way and manner the relatives of the defendant, particularly Nam Dekano, who that came to visit him in the prison, were harassed, intimidated, and arrested. And also, we mentioned about seven names of name, names of the relatives that were arrested, and they up to date they have still been detained in the DSL custody without being arrested in court. So the court said we should formally notify him, so I should make a proper directive to that effect. And also, I you observe what happened this morning. How even the press, press, the pressmen, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are harassed and intimidated in open court.